Hey guys, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Thank you for watching my channel. So today we are going to be doing a new food challenge. Special shout out to my subscriber. <laughs> One of my subscribers, Life with J and J, as she actually, well, they actually suggested that I go ahead and try the cabbage soup diet. So, based off of my research from this diet, you're supposed to be able to lose like up to 10 pounds in one week. We are going to be trying it for four days. So, based off that math, I think that's like a pound and some change per day. But I think by the end of four days, I'm supposed to have lost at least like four or five pounds based off of my calculations. I don't know if that's correct. Don't come for me. I failed math three times in life. So, it is Monday morning. Morning. My starting weight right now is at 159. Like I said, going to be doing this for four days. So predictions. I'm hoping by the end of the four days, which would be Friday morning, uh, that I'm going to be looking at at least 156, 155. That would be really cool. Anything under 50, 155 would be like a miracle. But we're going to see what I can get down to in four days. So, so let me go ahead and start prepping it. It looks really yummy. I'm actually looking pretty forward to it. Um, it looks like it's you know, delicious. Actually, I don't mind cabbage. I'm not like the biggest fan of cabbage, but I don't have a problem with cabbage either. So, uh, yeah, that being said, uh, let's just jump straight into it. Uh, yeah, I just want to, yeah, let's just go. Let's just get into it. Me around the way, just want to tell me this one thing. Can't get enough of you. I think I'm stuck with you. Let me stop you. I've already had enough of you. Get the little things that you got left. Let's try some of the soup. Had a little bit of Tabasco because I like it a little bit spicy. It smells pretty good, so. Okay, not bad. Could use a little bit more seasoning, but. Mm, it's comforting though. The Tabasco helps a lot. Because usually I'm a lot more like heavy handed with it. So I'm like, I didn't want to over season it because you can add seasoning as you like. So, all right, day one, first bowl down. Oh, 
Okay, today's day two and I'm actually really excited because it's nice and rainy outside and I'm hungry and I'm looking to look forward to a nice bowl of soup. Like it's just like perfect for this kind of weather. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I did wake up this morning at 160. I think I'm just kind of bloating from a little bit of the salt. This is quite seasoned, uh, but I'm probably gonna have this bowl and maybe another one later on if I'm hungry. It's already like a little around one o'clock. So first meal of the day and uh, ready to go. I'm excited. Okay, so I just had my first poop. <laughs> and you know what, it went rather smoothly. It just kind of all came out. So first poop down, second day. Not too shabby. <laughs> you are the cause of my misery. Good morning, it is day three of cabbage soup diet and I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I am at 158. I pooped twice yesterday <laughs> and then I think again like early this morning too. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm actually, all right, let me talk to you. My, so you can see me, see into me, intimacy. But um, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm really, really hungry. So I think I'm just gonna have some green tea when I get home. And then I'm trying to uh, still keep to my intermittent fasting. So I'm probably gonna have my first bowl like um, sometime around noon or so either like right before I go get Bubby from school or right after I go get Bubby from school. Probably gonna have like a nice big bowl of it. Uh, we are slowly running out of it. <laughs> we have literally like two days left worth. I think today and then tomorrow and then that's it. That's all that's left. So we're gonna have to stretch it out as much as we possibly can, but um, feeling pretty good. Honestly, like that soup turned out bomb to be honest. Like it's really good. I would make it otherwise. I didn't, it's really good and it's comforting and hearty and honestly like I would make it again just to eat it I think what I would try adding next time my brother suggested I add pork um I think I would try also like ground beef or some chicken to add into it for next time I'm really super excited for the next time I make it but yeah so I will check in with you guys my next bowl that I have seen a bit been looking forward to this all day. One more day left. I can't even tell you right now how tempting my daughter's chicken nuggets are. <laughs> so hard. I just, I want a chicken nugget so bad right now. She's eating them. She's eating one and she's dipping it in ketchup. And I do want one so bad. If anyone's remembered from my old videos, it's just like the chicken nuggets. They're just so tempting. So tempting. When I tell you I am so proud of myself. <laughs> Day four, not too bad, but I have to talk about what happened last night because like, honestly it started at like 11 p.m. and it went until 3 a.m. I was like this on the toilet the whole time. I had the worst stomach ache of my life. And I know every stomach ache always feels like the worst, but this was literally the worst. So I don't think it's due to this because I took some um, prune pills to help me out because uh, I felt a little constipated, but I think it's that. I don't think it was a cabbage because I feel like soup would have affected me like way earlier. But yes, today's the last day. We did it, we're here. And this is the last of it. So that batch I made for two people lasted for a good four days. Not too bad. Mm -mm -mm. Still pretty good. I believe I saw, you guys saw the scale I was at 160, 156 this morning, which is really great, actually, really good. 156 surpassed my expectations. I was hoping to get down to like 155. So if in the morning I'm at 155, then even better, even better. But I will definitely make sure to check with you guys in the morning for the last day results. Uh, but yeah, just enjoying this final meal. Been running errands all day, so I did incorporate some exercise and having my green tea, drinking my water. <laughs> it's Bubby. And I will check with you guys in the morning. Bye. Okay, y'all, here are some of my final thoughts after doing four days of the cabbage soup diet. Um, I'm a little bit pressed for time, so we're gonna be doing some multitasking right now. So, basically, uh, my final thoughts, uh, would I, oh, it's a little crooked, sorry. Ah! Okay, 
I need to get my life all the way together right now. All right, you know what? We're just gonna have to make this work. Slightly, slightly crooked, but you know, it is, it is what it is. Did I make it better? Did I make it worse? I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, like I was saying, um, you know, would I do this again? Uh, probably not, um, only because the preparation time was uh, a lot. It was a lot to prep and it took over, I mean, Really, the steaming part took like 45 minutes, but with prep and everything along with it, I wanna say it took about like almost like a two hour meal to make and prep and everything like that. Did it work? I believe so. So you guys saw on the scale, I'm at 156. Um, I did just braid my hair last night, so this is like at least a pound of hair. So I'm gonna say we ended off at 155, which I'm actually very happy about. Now, would I make it again in general? Yes, yes I would, because it was actually really delicious. It was really soothing, comforting, a nice like, you know, winter time time soup and everything uh, next time I would actually really enjoy incorporating potatoes or some ground beef chicken maybe any kind of meat would I think would be really nice I don't know how to do this <laughs> I can't multitask y'all I said I was going multitask but it's not really uh, working out I, you know what let me get myself together because I'm just like all over the place right now um you know what let me come back and talk to you guys and I can actually sit down and talk to you this is just this is a mess this is a shambles just wait I'll be right back Okay, so yeah, this is a little better now. I'm focused, I'm fresh, I'm able to maintain my attention now so I can come back out with you guys with my actual final notes and final details. Would I do this again just strictly like the challenge? Probably not, uh, just because as far as prep goes, like I was mentioning, it actually takes like hour and a half, two hours almost prep time and cook time afterwards. Four days, it was actually pretty delicious. I didn't find myself getting sick of it. I think it did what it was supposed to. I didn't realize it until after I had already started that it's supposed to make you poop which it definitely did <laughs> if I make it again just in general just to eat I definitely would already comforting like soup to eat and everything so I mentioned before as well that I am at 156 but I did do my hair last night so that's like a pound <laughs> of hair so I'm gonna say that actually ended off at 155 can't remember exactly where I started off the week at I think I started off at 160 60 something, you know, let me check, let me see where I started. Yeah, Monday morning I started off at 159. And so now I'm gonna say I'm at 155. So that would mean four pounds in four days, which is a Christmas miracle. <laughs> so yeah, it definitely did work. I did a little bit, well, I didn't really do too much research, honestly, like, but I watched a couple videos and some other videos apparently for the cabbage soup diet, you're actually supposed to incorporate like root. And there are certain things that you can eat with the cabbage soup on certain days, but I just ended up doing strictly just cabbage soup for all four days there you have it there are the results those are pretty much my thoughts uh would i do this every single day absolutely not <laughs> but you know for four days it wasn't too bad and it's definitely a good meal if you prep your food prep at the beginning of the week and you need something that's gonna like last you all week just in general just to have just some leftovers i would definitely recommend this meal it turned out to be actually really really delicious i'm really proud of myself and the way it turned out and it was really yummy so uh that's the end of this video <laughs> I apologize if it was a little bit in shambles. It's been a weird week this week, but you know, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the results and watching this video with me. So anyways, I wanna thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. If you'd like to help me grow my channel, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.